Snowden was hiding out of the transit zone of Moscow Airport for more than a month before Russia granted him asylum for one year. Well, this move certainly strains relations between the U.S. and Russia because, of course, the U.S. wanted Snowden back here in the States to face prosecution. Ross Plater following all the latest developments from our newsroom now. Ross? Audrey, the White House didn't even have a heads up on this one. Not only may it further damage the relationship between the two countries, it may put a key meeting in jeopardy. This photo from Russian TV is said to show NSA leaker Edward Snowden headed to a secret location, finally leaving the Moscow airport where he had been holed up in limbo for more than a month. His Russian attorney showed off Snowden's new document granting him a year of temporary asylum. Clearly the White House is not happy. We are extremely disappointed that the Russian government would take this step despite our very clear and lawful requests in public and in private to have Mr. Snowden, Snowden expelled to the United States. Just yesterday, there was yet another blockbuster revelation from info Snowden leaked. According to the Guardian newspaper, the NSA has a top secret program that allows intelligence analysts to spy on, quote, nearly everything a user does on the Internet in real time. House Speaker John Boehner wants pressure applied on Moscow. And I would hope uh, that President Obama would engage uh, President Putin on this issue and, and resolve it in a way that's satisfactory to the American people. President Obama is scheduled to attend a summit of world leaders in Russia next month, but a separate meeting between him and Russian President Vladimir Putin is now in question. Obviously, this is not a positive development, uh, and we have a wide range of interests uh, with the Russians and we are evaluating the utility of a summit. Now, the so-called whistleblower website WikiLeaks issued a statement on Twitter thanking the Russian people for protecting Snowden. It also said, quote, we have won the battle, now the war. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.